Hi folks, Bak gaat here, I'm Christopher and we are in studio today at Game and Hunt and with me is Kuni. Kuni, welcome here and Yaku and they are from Quick and Neil. Quick and Neil. Tell us, tell us about yourselves. I'm an occupational health and safety manager. I love to hunt, I love to braai, I like bolting and reloading. And that's me. <laughs> and you, Jakku? Hi, I'm an electronic engineer by trade. Um, I enjoy my work, love to develop. And yeah, I hunting and work now is coming together. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys come about the idea of this unique product? Well, we been reloading for quite a while and the current products on the market, everyone basically using gas. Yes. And it became an issue of it's not consistent from the first case to the last case. Um, gas getting hot, gas getting cold, um, having to set up everything again from the beginning, playing around with tempi lag. So we looked at the overseas products but found them very expensive. And I started playing around with induction annealing and it's everyone knows it is the next step to go so folks there you have it there's the catchphrase induction heating so can you there's been a few trial products in the market um and apparently the feedback is good where are you guys at the moment yes our feedback is very good from the people that did our initial testing yes so currently this is our latest model the latest upgrade and basically we're going to launch at the end of the month end of april beginning to may the new model will be available okay. and as we say all the feedback is very positive and that's why we are now ready for the market so so this is the latest model this is now going um, for production this is the production model for for 2021 that's good excellent so Jakun, what calibers can we use? well that is the one of the plus points of our machine uh, yeah. we developed it to test from we did was from 204 so anything triple two, 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 three cases easily fits, works very nice. And the biggest we've tested up so far was 338 Lepua Magnum. So the standard unit and the standard configuration can basically go from 204 all the way to, three, uh, to 338 Lepua without any additional components. That's 100%. Um, that is where we feel we've got a bit of a better product. Um, no adapters, no fittings, no mandrels. Um, you just adjust your height. Um, Put in your case and you can go. All right. Can you give us a demonstration, please, gentlemen? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, the machine's got integrated water cooling, um, air cooling for the electronics. Uh, so it's no additional features like some of the overseas products. Everything is integrated, one compact um, module. Uh, height adjustment for the cases, setting up everything is quite easy. You place a case in the oil assembly, put a height measurement in and by loosening it you can adjust the, the height till it just touches and there your case is set up. Uh. So tell me, how do we determine the case exposure time? So basically you go to the setup menu, you select um, the test function, as soon as it's in the test function you put in a case. Yes and then you hit the start button right basically it's a stopwatch that will right. start counting as soon as you see the neck of the case starts so, so i red. physically have to inspect you have it to physically inspect to the glow that i like yes okay and as soon as you have your glow you yes. just stop press it again and then it will give you an estimate time for okay. example 3.5 seconds all right for any reloading it's good to come down like 3.2 seconds okay you do one or two cases if you don't like it manually you can yes. up it so it can suit you so i can adjust the exposure time there after completely right. up and down but then it's automated then it's just feeding it. then then you go to the uh, menu again mm -hmm. you select the auto heating and then you can just feed it like a sausage machine the more you can put in the more it will anneal It's always been my opinion that consistent annealing contributes to precision. Christopher, definitely. Uh, we've been using gas for a very long time and we all know that it's definitely not consistent. No, for sure, it's not, it's not consistent. So, electronic is definitely the way to go. We can control it much better, the, the power can be controlled, the timing is much, much better. You have consistent results each and every time. So the answer going forward is induction. 
Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and also some of the feedback that we receive um, on the ES and the spreads that the shooters normally gather. Yes. Um, they send us some data that was measured and accountable for it that goes down to five uh, feet per second. So, and that's in a five shot and, and Yes, and we usually would have a 10 or something. So yeah. that's a 50% that's improvement. 100% correct. And that actually make a difference. When you shoot Absolutely. a mile to Absolutely. two miles, Absolutely. that's actually where it counts. Absolutely. Every 2% in ELRS puts you in on that. Kuni, Yaku, thank you for coming out. It's really well appreciated. Thank you very much. We appreciate the time and the uh, opportunity being here. So folks, there you have it. The quick a new induction unit. I have one. It certainly gets a Bakhat approval. I suggest you get out there and get yourself a unit. Ah. Can you learn it? What can you wear? Oh. Yeah, fuck. I was like, stop yes. Um. Into the coil assembly. Oh, no, that's good. I can ask my mom to talk. I know. Perfect. Fuck it. Go in the other side. Wat gaat die? Ons is in die stereo by Wilt en Jag en ek praat met meelmuis en bouts oor neelinggoeters wat vingers brand.